You know, even though we're having some, some nice positive uh, news in the news lately about our economic situation as a country, we're still coming out of a recession, and some people say we're still in it. So I've been cooking a lot with foods that can stretch a buck for a family. Um, eggs, whole grain pastas and rices and beans are always your go-to, that's your like go-to top four. So today we're gonna make an egg meal that you could serve breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I call these sorts of meals BLDs. Now it's sort of an Italian twist up on the idea of a quiche. A quiche being of course, classic uh, kind of a pastry flaky crust uh, filled up with eggs and lots of cream, slow baked in the oven. This is gonna be a polenta, a quick cooking polenta with pancetta in it, cooked up and that's gonna become a crust, a little nest if you will, for some beaten eggs and some sauteed leeks. It's a beautiful meal. You could serve it any hour of day or night. And if you're dog tired, this is something you could come home, literally throw together in a couple minutes, throw it in the oven. Before you know it, dinner's done. And it's a meal you could really feel good about that's very pocket friendly. So, <laughs> so the bacon here is pancetta. You could use a few slices of smoky bacon chopped up. You just brown that up over medium heat till it renders out. To this, we're gonna add a little bit of liquid, you know, some stock in a box, and it's a three to one ratio of liquids to quick cooking polenta. And you can use a combination of stock and milk if you want a very creamy polenta. You can use water and stock in a box if you wanna stretch a buck even further. But it's a three to one ratio, that's what you gotta remember there. Over here, <clears throat> in a 10 inch skillet, we're gonna put a little drizzle of olive oil and saute up some leeks. When you cook with leeks, add it to the skillet, and just wilt these down a little bit. It just takes a couple of minutes. In the same pan we cook up the leeks, we're gonna put our cooked polenta down in there, make a nest for some beaten eggs, fill our polenta nest with the leeks and the eggs, pop it in the oven, cook it till it's golden. It is delicious. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> to our pancetta, I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic, because I put garlic in everything. Yeah. You don't want the garlic to burn. So I just flip it around in there once the pancetta or bacon is almost perfectly crisp and fully rendered. Then to this, you're gonna add that three to one ratio, I just use a coffee cup instead of a measuring cup, of liquid, bring that up to a boil, and then I'm gonna mass up the polenta. I'm gonna add a cup of polenta. I'll show you what it looks like when we come back. Kind of a, a quiche concept. We're making a polenta crusted frittata, essentially. We made some quick cooking polenta. We started with a little bit of bacon, or in this case, I used diced pancetta. And, uh, you know, we're kind of taking a riff on a BLT, bacon, leek, and tomato. So we've got the browned up pancetta. And then I stirred in, uh, right when it was done, a little bit of black pepper and a lot of Parmigiano Reggiano. A couple handfuls of grated cheese. To the 10 inch skillet, you then add, and 10 inches would feed four people, I'd say a nice entree size portion. And if it were being served for breakfast or brunch, because this meal's good any hour of the night or day, I would say you could feed up to six with this, because it's, it's rich, it's hearty, it's delicious. And once you get it all in there, you gotta work with it a little bit to, get, to go up the sides of the pan. I find if you take a couple of layers of plastic wrap, double it up, because the polenta is still warm, then I put another pan of similar size right on top and it helps you make a mold like this. When it sets for a couple of minutes, once you press this in there, once it sets up a bit, it'll look like this dude right here. This guy's ready to go, he's like, fill me up, hello. He's very friendly. <laughs> anyway, so that's a neat little trick. It doesn't have to be perfect because the eggs will set up, it's great. Fill it up with your leeks. They both look great. I'm just gonna put this guy here because he's feeling neglected. And then take your beaten eggs with your cold butter. Keep them nice and rich as they bake in the oven. I've got the oven on 400, 425, nice hot oven. You basically leave it in there till it looks done. The eggs will still be jiggling when you shake the pan. When they stop jiggling and they start to set up and it's evenly golden all over the top, you're good to go. Now while this is in the oven, 
you can go ahead and work on the salad that you put up on top of this. And it makes such a pretty presentation if you're gonna entertain with this meal. You just take grape tomatoes or cherry tomatoes of any color or variety. And this time of year, there's a nice price on them, right? You could get them out at the farmer's markets and stuff. It's great. Mix it up with some spicy arugula. Dress it very simply with a little bit of lemon juice and olive oil. Give the lemon a good press on the counter to get the juices flowing. I'm gonna dress the salad. I'll meet you guys back here in a couple. Tossed up some little uh, cherry, uh, yellow, and red tomatoes with some spicy arugula. Dressed it very simply with the juice of one half lemon and a drizzle of olive oil. Dressed it with a little salt and pepper as well. Seasoned it up. That's going to go up on top of an excellent idea for dinner. <laughs> Baked eggs in a polenta nest. Look at that. Oh. It looks so good. So this is sort of an Italian twist on a quiche. We made a nest of quick cooking polenta. And this is a BLT. It's got bacon, leeks, and the tomatoes that go up on top. So it's got the BLT running through it. Oh, that looks so good. Up on top of that. Literally, you can serve it with a salad up on top like that, cut wedges at the table. Or you can do it per portion after you wedge it out of the pan send it to the table with the pretty salad just spilling down over the top. It really is such an easy, elegant, and super affordable meal. I hope you really try that one. It's delicious. And it could be what's for dinner tonight. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. We'll see you when we see you. Bye-bye.